Hey everyone, in the Christmas break, I played a little bit around with the OpenAI API and the newer functions that are in there. Um, namely, it was the Whisper API, which is a transcription from speech to text that works in uh, pretty much uh, every language, every major language. And uh, the second one was the multimodal GPT-4 uh, API, which uh, is pretty cool because you can not only talk to it or write text to it, but you can also plug pictures in there. So that is available in the paid chat GPT version already. But I, of course, want to use the API and want to try to bring it into Power Apps and Power Automate to use it in my projects to give you idea a um, quick idea what i'm talking about let's try this out so here we're gonna ask it the first question and um, so the first part is here is just a text input and this will display the picture from that link up here which you can see now here and now i can ask the question through my microphone this is the power apps microphone control this worked pretty much a plug and play and then i sent the file that i create here to the api get an answer back from uh, from the whisper model which will transcribe it right here and then in a second step or in the third step uh, here we will then send the uh, our request with the image url and the question to the uh, gpt4 api and get a hopefully right answer back so let's uh, try this out how big is the tree? So this worked uh, pretty well. Of course, it was a pretty short question. The second one will be a little harder. So uh, trying to cheat on my homework here. So this doesn't only give me the answer, but also shows me the whole way how to get to the answer. So let's take a quick look into the app, how I solved everything, because it was harder than I expected, but um, worked out in the end after a few hours of testing. So the first part is here. So all the function is here on the on stop property of the microphone control. So when I finish recording, I use this whole file here. So this is basically the file. I send it with the Power Apps V2 trigger to a flow um, and I call the OpenAI Whisper API and in the flow. And the second part is, this is when I ask the multimodal GPT-4 model. I put the image in here and in this global response, there we have the how big is the tree. So I plug those two in and uh, as well send it to a flow and then get my answer back. So this is then the response that is displayed here. And now we're gonna look at the two flows and uh, we're gonna look at the OpenAI documentation and then we're gonna talk a little bit about the problems that I faced while trying that out. So this is the documentation of the uh, Whisper API. The endpoint is called uh, audio slash transcriptions here. And this is the code example because most of the time we're gonna send uh, JSON objects to uh, APIs, but here it's a little bit different because the content is a um, multi-part form data. This is pretty straightforward. It's just a text with which model we use and uh, Whisper1 is the only currently available model. So we're going to use that. And this is actually the file content that we have to send here. The response is yeah, fairly simple. It's just the transcribed text. This was hard because the custom connectors don't work with multipart form data and the HTTP connector also doesn't work with multipart form data. So I read through the Power Apps forums and luckily I found someone who had the same problem with another API, also wanted to upload a file and yeah, luckily he found a solution and posted it there. We got the answer from there and let's see how everything looks like in our flow. Here in the trigger, we request 
the file name and the file content. I think I end up not using the file name at all. Um, this is just for the API key up here. So we don't need to look into that. And yeah, the solution he came up with was getting back from this multi-part form data and creating uh, an actual JSON from it. And this is what ended up working. And this is where we plug in the, the file content. And as you can see here, we need to provide the file and a file name. It uh, doesn't matter which, uh, what file name you, you plug in here, obviously. So um, this is just the, the file content directly, how we get it from Power Apps. And here it states what uh, uh, which kind of model we want to use. And as you can see, this yeah looks a bit, little bit more complicated than a normal JSON object, uh, but luckily found a solution for that after a few uh, hours of searching and trying. And then we are sending just the text back to Power Apps. This part is then pretty straightforward. I will try to bring all of this to the independent publisher, OpenAI Connector, that I originally created. Um, but for that part, we will probably need some C Sharp code. I think we, we can make that work, but it's not as easy as creating a normal custom connector. So, and when we got the text from that one, then we have to plug everything in into the GPT-4 model with a vision. So let's take a quick look here. Um, yeah, here we have the right spot in documentation. And this thing is uh, rather new. So this would be the normal um, object that you send to the GPT-3.5 or the GPT-4 API. So, and here we are back to a JSON object. So this seems to be again, a little bit easier now, but uh, what was the problem right here? Um, here you can see we have an array of messages and we always have um, an object right here, which has the attributes role and content. And here again, role and content. And this is how custom connectors like to be, how Power Apps uh, likes them to be. Um, have the same structure um, all over in uh, inside of an array and then this works pretty much plug and play and i already showed that in other videos how to create the custom connector for that in yeah a few minutes so if we want to put an image in you can see right here the object gets a little bit more complicated because now we have an array for the messages but also for each message we got an array and that can consist of just text where we can ask questions about the image or uh, one or more images that we can plug in um, as well but the problem here is that the contents change a little bit because here we have text and here we have image URL, which is an object itself. Uh, custom connectors in the Power Platform don't work that way because uh, yeah, the content in here changes and especially one, when you directly want to use them inside of Power Apps, then yeah, Power Apps is not too happy about that and it doesn't work that way because it always wants to have all the properties in each object and then it asks here in the upper one why i don't provide an image url uh, which i need to define because i want to plug it in in here so uh, how did i end up solving that again with a flow so we actually use the custom connector and here we have the open ai with vision this uh, is actually not what it's all about. We can even when we look here at the array, then that is not what I originally typed in. When we can, we can look at the code right here and here we see what I actually put in. So here we see the, yeah, the same JSON object that we saw in the, OpenAI documentation. This is the question basically that I 
get from the Whisper API, so the question that I ask about the picture, and this is the URL of the image. I don't actually know why it's not shown here, so there should be another part that, I don't know, uh, isn't displayed here, but is actually there. And then we get the response back and yeah, we just want from the from the first response, we want the, the content from the message. This is the same with the normal as with the normal uh, GPT 3.5 API. So uh, again, here, smaller problems, the, the object that we need to plug in changes from uh, case to case. So uh, here also a little bit harder, um, need to find a way to figure out how to put that into the, uh, into the independent publisher connectors so all of you can use it as soon as you have the uh, access to the GPT-4 vision uh, preview model, which is also available in Azure OpenAI. If you ask Microsoft kindly and have a good use case, then I think for some organization, it's allowed to use the GPT-4 vision preview model in Azure OpenAI as well. And the API should work pretty similar here. So this was a little bit easier to figure out than the, than the whisper part, but uh, still a bummer that it doesn't work directly in a custom connector and we can't directly use it in Power Apps without the flows. So I hope I gave you a good idea how to build all of that um, if you want to use the models uh, in your Power Apps as well. So in the next uh, days or weeks, I'm trying to get this into the um, OpenAI independent publisher connector with some C-sharp code to make it a little bit easier and probably uh, to use both models directly from Power Apps without the need to get a flow uh, in between. And if you want to start now, um, gave you some instruction and hopefully could put you into the right direction um, to get that working for your next project. So see you next time.